and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Teamer Hydra. So we, we uh, just reset the ranked um, the rankings today. Uh, they just had like the end of the season, so we got a brand new season here. So we're back to Platinum Tier 4. We're not in Mythic anymore. And I have like three pretty interesting new-ish decks to try today. I guess this one's kind of new. Uh, the other ones, Kefnet Control and Abzan Angels have been decks that I've kind of played before. <laughs> Hawkeye's like, no, I want to be part of the screen here. Um, but yeah, we're, we're playing a Teamer midrange deck that has a whole lot of Planeswalkers, because the Planeswalkers are just really good. And we got Bioessence Hydra, so this is the namesake card of the deck. Um, maybe I should be playing four of the card, honestly, but I got three to start with. We'll kind of see how that goes. Um, so it's a 4-4 four, four Trample for five, which is not very impressive. However, it does enter the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter for each loyalty counter on the Planeswalkers you control. So, for example, if you played like a Tamiyo the previous turn and you ticked up and your Tamiyo has six loyalty, whenever you play your Hydra, your Hydra will enter with six counters and it'll be a 10-10. And whenever uh, more loyalty counters are put on Planeswalkers you control, you just grow the Hydra with that many 1-1 counters as well. So if you just have a Hydra in play, like let's say we played the Bioessence Hydra as a 4-4, and then the next turn we play Nissa. Um, Nissa enters with five loyalty counters, so Hydra will gain five counters. And this card just gets so big. Just, just you know, it's just so incredibly big that it's just hard to block, hard to deal with, and can just end games really fast. So that's that's our, like, main card. Besides that, we're trying to get a good amount of mana here with our mana creatures, and Domri and Kiora add mana. Um, Kiora in particular works awesome with Bioessence Hydra because Kiora has so much loyalty. And the other thing we can do with all this mana, um, Nissa can get us a bunch of mana too, is of course Hydroid Crisis, because not not too uh, much better to do in the format with a lot of mana, mana than Hydroid Crisis. Um, and then we have Rekindling Phoenix and Gruel Spellbreaker as like some good mid-range uh, threats that both work well with Kiora. Uh, so we have some some good cards there, and that's like what our what our deck's all about. Um, I do like War Boss. I, I do like War Boss these days. Uh, going with Daredevil though, um, because I don't really want. I don't really want to fit like the full four War Boss, and I f feel like War Boss is the kind of card that is better whenever you have multiples. And I didn't really want to fit all four war bosses in the sideboard, so going with Daredevil because I really wanted I wanted Negate and I wanted Lava Coil and I wanted Brontodon and then I didn't really want to put in just only war bosses like something else. So yeah, going with Daredevils. It's a really solid card, especially when you have more mana and hopefully this deck can get a little bit more mana with all of those cards. All right, well let's give it a try. Yeah, Abzan Angels. That's a deck. We're going to be playing that um, a little bit later. So we're going to be playing five matches in ranked today with all three of these decks. Uh, that's that's the plan. Play five matches with with each deck, and we'll have a we'll have another donation deck. Uh, to end the stream tonight. I don't know what that deck is yet, though. Um, but it's, it's saved for somebody that donated the one in the fourth slot, but hasn't told me what the deck is yet, so we'll find out about that later. Hey, what's up, Storm? Welcome. Happy Friday. It's the start to the weekend. And I guess, speaking of the weekend, we have our sub-battle stream tomorrow. That's always a ton of fun. And we have lots of decks this time, because we've played a lot of decks over the last few weeks. I guess so. We have turn three Phoenix right now, and then we'll have enough mana to just kind of play off the top after that. Uh, hi, Quilteen. That was really nice. And you're a good streamer, you're a better player, and generally a nice person. Enjoy lurking in the stream and wanted to say hi. 
Well, that was very nice. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I didn't check, actually, what boosters... I'm pretty sure they were just War of the Spark, but did you get Ravnica Allegiance boosters? Maybe they were. I guess I didn't really look too closely at what boosters we just got. Maybe they were uh, Ravnica Allegiance. Hey, look at that! Santa Narinan gifting out that sub to uh, Quiltine. Getting the hype boats in the chat. Thanks, Narinan, and hope you enjoy the. Uh, The sub there, Quilting. Okay. I kind of want to play the Spellbreaker first. Because if they have removal spell, I'd rather them use it on the Spellbreaker and not the Bio Essence Hydra. But we need to start drawing any of our... We have 11 Planeswalkers in here. Got to start drawing those. You did? You got Allegiance Boosters? I'll have to check after this. Oh, Standard was War and Limited was Allegiance. Interesting. Yay, Graveyard that. Good, because Cast Down would have killed my Hydra. Wow. Hydra Krasis is a great card. You play a Krasis and you draw two more Krasises? What a great card. <laughs> what if it just always does that? Like, what if that's, like, what Krasis does is... That's what it says. It's like Squadron Hawk, but... And then if you are out of Krasis, then draw more... Then draw cards off the top of your deck. Deckmaster is down. Tilt. Well, I just might as well trade, right? Well, I guess this is like a Command the Dreadhorde deck. I'll say no blocks. So I went with the Bio Essence Hydra this turn because if I if I went with Krasis, I would have just made a 5-5 five, five Krasis and only drawn two cards, where if I wait a turn, I get to draw three cards. This isn't a fight you can win. <laughs> there you go. I'll protect you. Yep, all right, four color dread horde. Hmm. Kind of want to just jump block with this land war elf. Yeah, I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, we haven't we haven't seen any planeswalkers. Attacking them, so we have lethal in the air the next turn. Um, 
Also want to make Command the Dread Horde worse for them. As well. But my poor little BioS and Hydra, we haven't seen any planeswalkers yet. I've got it. If I play Phoenix next turn, I can only Krasis for three, along with Phoenix. Like, if I was trying to play them both. Well, that's not going to help you. an excellent informant for my study. To the library. Um, honestly, I don't really remember what the deck with Roalesque was called, honestly. It's probably, you know, it's definitely Simic something. Probably, like, Simic Midrange or something like that. Um, I think the easiest thing to do is to go to the uh, YouTube channel... Because it, it would have been like a little bit after uh, let's get these in here and don't want coils it would have been a little bit after uh, War of the Spark came out so if you just, just kind of go to the YouTube yeah just kind of and then that's easier to look at like the the decks and everything kind of go Go down to, like, whenever, like, War of the Spark came out, basically, and work your way from there. Oh, there was one There was one with Bant Flash that had Roalesque in it. I'm pretty sure it had Roalesque, a Bant Flash deck. Sixty-four... I don't really know what's not good. I guess we're going to take out the Chandra, one Hydra, um, a Spellbreaker, and no, a Tamiyo, I guess. I don't know. Hey, what's up, Blinks? Thanks for that sub there. Welcome to the channel. Yep, made the top thousand, so we're good to go there. But yeah, thank you very much there, Blinks, getting those hypotes in there. <laughs> YouTube subscriber, yeah. That's that's easier to afford being the YouTube subscriber, but thanks. Thanks for that as well. I've been... Uh, Really happy with the YouTube channel, how it's starting to grow. Top thousand qualifies for the next Mythic Championship qualifier. You know, you get you get to play in the next Mythic Championship qualifier, uh, like we did either last weekend or the weekend before, whenever we did that. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I've been mythic a few times.
<clears throat> the farthest we got up this time was number 25, I believe, was the highest we got in Mythic this time. And then whenever we were there, I played my Naya Feather deck and lost a little bit with that one. Welcome to my symphony of pain. The more, the messier. So we'll have 4-4 four, four Krasis next turn. <laughs> Draw a couple. This forest, so we can play the land war elf. I adore but yeah, I need to definitely need to keep pressure in their life total now. You know, with these command the dread horde decks, can't let them just sit around with lots and lots of life. No, I don't think I'll be playing any of the popper, Jeff. But I do have, on, on the Stream Decker page there with my decks, I do have the Simic deck that I made earlier today. Uh, I played four rounds with it off stream and won three of the four, and it was it was pretty fun. Um, so if you're looking for like a, a different deck idea for Popper, you can check that out. I'm... I'm not sure if the deck needs to be better against mono. Cool, we did get War of the Spark. Mono red. It may need a little bit more against mono red. I don't know. That was the one matchup I lost. But it was, it was kind of close. No, I would say that uh, uh, Selesnia is my favorite color combination. Green is my favorite color overall. And white's this my second favorite color. So yeah, I would, I'm a Selesnia mage. Well, these hands were a little unfortunate. Alright, so Esper Hero. Yeah, it makes sense then that I'm the Grixis Master. <laughs> it's true. Perfect sense. Even if they play like Little Teferi and bounce this Paradise Druid now, or just you know use any removal spell on it now, I don't think I really mind too much. Still have four mana. I'm known for my excellent timing. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. They've had a good hand. That's a really good hand. I know my response. You need to I can take draw a spellbreaker. Get some haste in here. Trust me, I have a plan. Dang.
Hey, Chainsmokers. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for that sub. Sub number three on the day there. Don't worry. I got this. All right, so I guess so I got really punished for attacking with the Paradise Druid. That was the kind of worst case scenario of little Teferi to bounce it, but then big Teferi. I guess it's just never attack with Paradise Druid is the lesson. Just can't ever attack with it. Aw, oh, you're welcome. Glad you're enjoying the content. Hold that thought. <laughs> we need more boats. More boats. There. Well, I'm glad that they had this really awesome hand um, whenever I Nothing. whenever I was sitting on five cards, you know? So I'm glad our five-card hand matched up against their, like, really, really good hand so that, um, you know, now hopefully that they have, like, some worse hands and we can win, like, the other two games. You know, hopefully that's, like, their awesome hand for the match. Paradise Druid, or I mean, sorry, uh, Direfleet Daredevil's got to be pretty good. Not really sure what I don't want, though. All these cards are pretty good. Definitely think I should be playing those, though. I'm gonna go one Bio Essence Hydra since they have a whole lot of removal. I don't know, it does line up against like the removal spells that we saw. I think I like the Chandra. I don't think I wanna cut that card. Could get rid of like a Spellbreaker. I don't know. All these cards are pretty good. Maybe I'll just play one Daredevil. No, I'm going to cut a Domri. Hey, Denriel. Thanks for that resub there. Keeping these hype boats going today. Alright, so we'll be cracking a pack whenever we get one more sub here on the day. Um, uh, I think, man, do I need a mulligan again? Well, this match was just not our match. Maybe I keep this. Sure, we need to draw a whole lot of lands. But as we saw, like the last game, five card hands are just, re it's really hard to win with five card hands. All right, good start. Maybe this can get there. <laughs> yeah, just got the reset there. Going back from going back to gold from diamond. So hopefully we draw another land and then we'll crisis for two and draw a card. Okay, not bad. Not to brag, 
But my friend, nature flows with vigor. <laughs> Perfect. One drop ripples and grows. That thing's a nine nine. Nine nines are big. Real big. Stand by and watch. That's more like it. Um. Do I attack them for nine or do I kill this to fairy? Guessing I attack them for nine. a lot. AJ Horton, no, I, I won't be there. Hadana's Climb is is a good card, but for like where Hadana's Climb would fit in the deck, I just want another Planeswalker. Basically with like the Bio Essence Hydras and everything, I just want as many Planeswalkers as we can fit in the deck. Um, I think if we're just going two colors with like Simic, I think a Hadana's Climb would work pretty well. Uh, yep, yeah, we finished the last season top thousands. So we're good there. Hey, Elric, thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying the videos. Right now, we could have Krasis for four, or we could untap. We could use, like, Kiora to untap something to make Krasis for five. The difference between four and five is not that much. So it's like, do we want to remove a loyalty counter? All right, so now we'll remove a loyalty counter to make it four. Right on schedule. I've got time. Hmm. Well, that'll do. It's just 12 haste. Man, Bioessence Hydra just hit so hard. Okay. Got pretty fortunate to get that one there. All right, here we go. Hey, what's up, Blue Jin? For top thousand, uh, get a qual uh, an invite to the next qualific the next uh, Mythic Championship qualifier. So you get to play in the next one of those whenever that is. <laughs> Did you see that triple Shalai picture I put in the Discord channel? That was pretty awesome. Yeah, it's, that was like the last match I played to make sure that we were in the top thousand there. Mono red against mono red. I had I had Shalai. Uh, well, they went like frenzy on turn four, and I played Shalai, and then they they didn't kill my Shalai. And I had 
a spark double, so I just got to spark double the Shalai. And then, uh, and then they were in huge trouble because I think they like hit like Tabalt off of the Frenzy. And then after that, uh, you know, like none of their burn spells, they can't target me with any of their burn spells or anything like that. Like none of their things could target any of my stuff. And then I drew another spark double and made a third July. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, so I could Spellbreaker attack for five. I'm going to go another Paradise Druid. And then Krasis for four. You know, Krasis next turn to draw two. And not attacking with the Paradise Druid to, like, turn on their two-mana removal spell that it's a good chance they had their last turn. Yep, I had that last turn. Yeah, Jay Gomez, yeah, we made top 1,000. It's the qualifier on Arena. Uh, I don't know exactly when the next qualifier will be or if it'll be the same format or anything. But yeah, if it was like today, I'd be playing the Arc Bow deck. Hostage Taker, Hydro Crisis. It's a good play. Gets rid of my Hydro Crisis, plus draws him a couple cards there. Give me this back. Thank you. All right, but we got our crisis back. I got crisis. Now you got crisis. Now I got crisis. Everybody has a crisis. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Let's try this. Do I want to? Um. Uh... What's I don't what's the format heat checker? I guess I guess I need to uh, Do they do they have counter magic over there? Should have seen that coming. Standard modern. Yeah, I don't. So I don't know exactly what. I don't have like a good uh, recommendation for modern. But with standard, I mean, you really can't go wrong with mono red. Mono red is just an awesome, awesome deck. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with mono red. But uh, as far as like what I would be playing is I'd be playing the Band Arcbo deck that I played yesterday on stream. Um, in Mythic, it's the deck that I've been playing a lot recently, even off stream. I really like it a whole lot. Um, but yeah, the Ban Arc Bow is what I would be playing there.
kind of crazy we haven't seen we haven't drawn any lands in all this time I have reached kind of crazy we spent a lot of time of not drawing lands I'm no keep up the pace sorry I'm late no, I am not making this up as I go. Hey, Masklar, good evening. <laughs> really hope they don't have a Dovin's Veto. So wanting to do this before combat so I, I know if it does get countered then uh, this is hardly my worst defeat then I probably need to attack that to fairy or you know like I don't know just have like a little bit more information about what's gonna happen Yep, we made it to the top thousand. I am not going to sit this one out. This yeah, I think the the, fa be the fastest, idea. best, the most cost-efficient way to get a lot of cards in arena is playing limited. Yep, and um, I think sealed is a pretty good deal. I like sealed a lot there. All right. Uh, For all the Planeswalkers in our deck, that's the other thing we haven't really been drawn at all is Planeswalkers. So they only have two cards left. More to sparks. Makes sense. Hmm. Well we found all of our lands. We hit the hit the huge land pocket here. So I'm attacking for five right now. Uh if I play the spellbreaker, we're attacking for eight. Still, I guess if we attack for eight here, we could then have like the next spellbreaker for lethal the following turn if we want. I don't want to put too much into wraths. Like pretend like them wrath on the board. I don't want to put all my resources there. This is basically all my resources. Glad to be here. Your so we go to 12. My <clears throat> 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ugh, that's gross. This time. Perfect. I will aid you. The land fights for us. There we go. <clears throat> GG. It looked kind of bad for us for a little bit. Um, Direfully Daredevil was just great for us that third game. You know, we had one Daredevil bounce our Crisis back to our hand. You know, so remove their Crisis plus draw Crisis, basically. And then the other one, 
got a Dispark for their Teferi. Perfect. All right, we're right, we are working our way back up. Uh, hey, MTG Rude, going good? Any good ideas for a Gruul Proliferate deck? Well, you'll want, you'll want like a bunch of Nissas and Explore Package and uh, Evolution Sage. I think that's where you start. Yeah, ranks just reset. Oh, you're gonna do good. You're gonna do good, Rude. Okay. No reason to be worried about it. You're gonna do good. No, I didn't play much Dominaria Limited. I I played a little bit of Sealed with Dominaria, but I didn't... I never did any drafting in the format. Um, in Sealed, you basically just play, like, three colors, a high curve. It seemed like there were, like, just so many cards that cost four mana in that format. I think I'm just going to name Bioessence Hydra here, honestly. I guess maybe I should be naming Krasis. Yeah, we'll name Krasis. block. I need to keep the life total high. So yeah, so the Phoenix traded, you know, one for one plus game three life basically there. It's better than getting chain world away. Seek and find. Oh no, Bio is inside Ra. Uh, no, Flinky, I don't. What are you playing, MTG Rude? What are you playing? Huh. Oh, is impolite. Our time together is All right. finished. Well. Let's not use... The breeding pool or stomping grounds, please. Witness.
witness the ties that bind us all. Let's just fight. I'm gonna play this Paradise Druid. No. Behold, nature's true power. <laughs> no more getting pushed around. All right. Let's get all these lava coils in. I like daredevils and I like brontodons. I mean, negate's really not that bad either. Maybe we play negate. That's a whole lot of cards. Let's see. Can I? Can I take out land war elves and paradise druid? What I have only twenty four lands. That could be a little rough. Don't want Chandra. Kiora. Yeah, I don't think I play Kiora. Either. That's kind of rough mana wise if I just get rid of all of these things. Alright, do I just take out negates? I need to take out some of these fives. Yeah, I probably need to cut some fives. I think taking out two of each for Elf and Paradise Druid. I don't hate that. Paradise Druid, of course, is really weak to Chain Whirler, but it's good against like the rest of the deck, how it doesn't die right away. I mean, Daredevils are expensive also. They're like four mana cards. Take out Domery. Is Sarkin the worst one of these? I guess if I'm taking out all these other Planeswalkers, the Hydra is not as good, but Hydra can be so big. I'm going to just try just two Paradise Druid. I'm going to just hopefully hit land drops. Bios Insider is actually like pretty awesome in this matchup. You need you need a Planeswalker, of course. But, I mean, if you have, you know, like a 9-9 Bios Insider, which is just like having one Planeswalker in play, or playing a Planeswalker after the Hydra, it just ends the game very quickly. You know, if you just like play it as a 4-4 and they ignore it, and then you play any Planeswalker and that gets five loyalty and you tick up to six. You just make it a 10-10. 10-10s kill them really quickly. War boss. Okay. Can we draw spells, please? Remember how I was saying I hope we can hit enough land drops with only 24? Well, I think... I think we did that. I don't think I need to worry about that anymore. War boss is, you know, really good here on the play and with the removal to back it up. Worked out quite well. Yeah, I mean, even though I can play Phoenix and block one creature, like, let's say I even block Warboss here, they still make another 2-2, two, two, and so I'm taking 2, 4, 6, 7, and I'm going down to 2. This thing's over. Alright, well, that's... 
That's just lethal with an attack out. Only five planeswalkers. Can I play Kiora instead of Paradise Druid? Can I do that? Actually, Rekindling Phoenix, like, come to think of it, Rekindling Phoenix honestly isn't really that good in this matchup, is it? Yeah, maybe that's the card I should be cutting. Yeah, honestly, I think that's the card I want to cut. Doesn't really block very well. I don't know how we're against Mono Blue, honestly. Three pair. Ooh. Yeah, we had a good poker hand. Green mana, please. Green mana. Still take some green mana over here. All right. So I'm going to play the Kiora first. The so next turn I can play Spellbreaker and draw another card. And, you know, have two two draw steps there for a land where then I could use Kiora to untap a land and have Negate available after playing Spellbreaker. Now playing Spellbreaker is a little annoying. Into that Lava Coil. I don't have a better option. Dang. So really hoping to hit a land drop here and be able to have Negate up for the, the Coil. Guess I could have just gone Tamio. It's great hand for them. Great hand. Let's get moving. You're a pirate, not a wizard. Couldn't get couldn't get mana. <laughs> Game two, we had all those lands. Game three did not have lands. Just attack, man. You're... You can kill me. All right, two and one. Two and one. Uh, what do I think of red mid-range deck, like the big red deck? So I think the big, the bigger red deck 
what uh, what you have to be worried about with that kind of deck is beating these really heavy Planeswalker decks. I think the big red deck just kind of, in general, has a good mono red matchup because you just go bigger than them, and you have a lot of you know you have a lot of like good removal and everything like that. Um, but it's whether or not. Whether or not you can, like, have the card advantage to keep up with, like, the Esper controls of the world. But maybe if you, maybe if you go, like, Immortal Sun with that. I've always had some pretty good success with the Mono Red Krasis deck. Yeah. The, playing Mono Red Midrange, Splashing, Hydroid Krasis. I've always had good success with that deck. Can we draw a land, please? I haven't drawn any lands. Like last game or this game. Thank you. They have a lot of burn over there. Yeah, that was a pretty great curve. Rise, my elemental friend. So I was saying before, this mono red deck is just really, really good. <laughs> it's it really is. It's lethal. Beating mono reds is just really tough. All right, well, let's... And give this another try. Let's try playing a couple land war elves and a couple paradise druids. I don't think I should take all of them out. I hate how Phoenix matches up against Chain Whirler. And they're also just, you know, bringing in lava coils and it's just pretty weak to lava coil. For a four mana card, I don't think it I don't think it does enough for us. Here, I, I don't think it matches up well. I don't, yeah. The viability of Banefire in a deck this mana heavy. 
I don't I don't like it. Banefire is really expensive for what it does. Um, I, I just don't I don't think there's anything in the deck that Banefire is better than. Sure, you can get to like a late game spot against a control deck where you have, you know, like ten mana or whatever, and then you top deck the Banefire, and then then your life's great and all that kind of stuff. But I don't feel like that's going to be a thing that happens in too many games. I think there's just going to be more games like where you just have like your Banefire early and you don't get to like advance your board state at all. Or you have to just like try to hold on to it for a while, but then they um, just, you know, say like a, a good tar good card that you just have to hold on for a while that just like turns on their discard spells because you don't really get to play it. And where you could have like played something else because you don't want to just like bane fire them for three early, for example. What are they doing? That was not ideal. Please no frenzy here. Please no frenzy. Okay. to make a splash. See, so yeah, I've been wanting to hold up negate in case of a frenzy. Now I'm salty. Or Chandra or something like that. Punished. Completely punished. I deserve that. The ocean surges, life thrives. I will protect the virtue of this world. I deserve that. I deserve that. Should have just let the Kiora get bolted. Punished for not, you know, I held up frenzy or held up negate for frenzy before, and then you know, they had that one card. I was like, oh, it's not a frenzy, right? There's no way that's a frenzy, and it was a frenzy. Huge punish. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I mean, I can't beat a frenzy. I mean, I guess, I guess they could completely whiff, I suppose.
All right, so we're 0-2 against Mono Red. And that was... That game was... Kind of my fault, too. Do I need more Rip Jaws in here? Honor Red's just so good. Use Fiery Cannonade. Yeah, I like Fiery Cannonade. In this kind of deck, for sure. So basically, we, we're on the draw here. All we need to do is draw one land. We can play Kiora. And then Kiora... There we go. Kiora, like, make, make sure we have Phoenix. And then it, or, like, these Hydras. Alright, we'll see if we can get... Mono Red out of here for... See if we can get Mono Red, you know, the third time playing it. Hey, what's up, Matthew? Something smells fishy here. Okay. The land. All right, fourteen. One drop ripples and grows. Yeah, Riptar Raptor is really good in this matchup. Um, that could be something we need to do if we need more go help. Cool um, maybe I need a, just another land in the sideboard for taking out these mana creatures. Yeah, Bowers and Hydra is big. Real big. Real big. So you think that's kind of our... I think that should be our game plan of, like, getting... Bowers and Hydra out there with walkers. Maybe I'm just not going to bring these negates. That's what I'm thinking. I think I'm I think I'm just off these negates. Daredevil dying to Chain Whirler there was, was pretty annoying, too. I think I want to just keep in Domri. Mm, we'll play one Domri. Yeah, let's try this. 
No negates. Uh, nope, Storm just use, always use this one. I think that was kind of a weakness of like wanting to hold up ne just strictly negate but then also having like these other cards wanting to tap out for I would you know rather coil something else but we're going to be tapping out for the foreseeable future so we'll just play our spell Dang. That's getting up a lot of stuff. Alright, so can we beat a frenzy? No, it doesn't look like Deckmaster is really working right now. Well, we went 2-1 against Mono Red, but I think... Or, sorry, 1-2. We went 1-2 against Mono Red, but I think I like how I sideboarded that last time, and I would sideboard like that again, um, you know, moving forward. So I think that... I think that bringing in the negates is just kind of a mistake, and instead just, you know, play, play to our strength of... Ramping out the big creatures with Spellbreaker, Hydra, and Krasis, and uh, the Planeswalkers that help get us um, you know, good card advantage, good blockers, all that kind of stuff. Just kind of play to the strength of Bioessence Hydra, the strength of the deck, uh, and not have negates. So good lesson there, I think. Um, yeah. So... There we go. So we went 3-2, which that's that's a su successful uh, tryout in ranked. That's all we want to do is just win 3 out of 5. Uh, we want to try to do that each time, and you know we'll gain, keep uh, slowly gaining our rank by doing that. Um, so there we go. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed Team or Hydra here. Uh, the deck felt pretty good, honestly, and even though I lost those two matches to Mono Red, Changed up how I sideboarded against it and then won that last one there against it. And yeah, I'll have to keep on trying this deck out. Bioessence Hydra is just really cool. And a lot of these cards are just cards that I like. I like Teamer Shells and everything. This deck was really fun to play, so we'll have to keep trying this deck. All right, so yeah, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, please hit the like button over there. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.